Yeah, ah. Welcome to Victoria Falls Marathon. Ah. We're yes. doing the yeah, 21 half, yeah. mar half marathon. 21 yeah, for the two. And we're enjoying yeah, it. We're, we're coming from Malawi <laughs> and Tanzania. And I'm going to Victoria Falls. Yeah, 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 Victoria As the adventure capital of the world, and running a marathon here is an experience unparalleled anywhere else. Experiencing the mighty Victoria Falls, one of the seven wonders of the world, and the opportunity to run amongst African wild animals, is a taste of the incredible Zimbabwe. I call it a paradise. It's beautiful. Lots to do. There's the amazing Victoria Falls to visit, and and just take in that energy of the spray. Um, go and visit wildlife. Go on the water, the mighty Zambezi River, and experience a fantastic sundowner. Zimbabweans are athletic. We're warm. We're friendly. Uh, we will, we're the sort of people who will wait for you to catch up to us. Um, I've seen people running with total strangers just to keep the the morale going. We meet a lot of people who interact, and then we learn a lot from each other. We also market our Zimbabwe globally so that even our tourism industry is being boosted by the athletes who come here and book the hotels and other stuff like that. At the same time, the Zimbabwe Parks and Wildlife Management Authority are, as always, working hard to educate the community to appreciate nature. People get to appreciate nature. People get to appreciate wildlife. People get to appreciate how friendly these animals are. We are trying also to educate people on the importance of wildlife. A very dry season in 2019 has reinforced the importance of the fundraising activities related to the marathon. We're supporting Water for Elephant. Um, the, we've had a terrible drought uh, this year. So thanks to all the runners out there, Thank you, it's fantastic. We've uh, raised a great amount of money and that's going to go towards putting in a water pump for elephants. 17 runners participated in raising funds for the project. Bobby Closes raised over $1,000 with a simple process of creating a give and gain fundraising page online. Within like five or ten minutes I had my own fundraising page and I just shared it with friends and family and I asked them to donate a little bit of money and then it all started. With just over 3,500 runners taking part across all three events, online registration was a winner for everyone. Pre-registration this year worked extremely well. About 95% of people pre-registered, so effectively we only had a few numbers just to sell here locally in the falls. So it, it's the way to go, and it's very easy on EcoCash to pre-register for a Zimbabwean. This is my first time, and I'm so excited. We're from Zambia. We're from the US. Botswana, north of Francistown. I'm from South Africa. Stuart Straff, Virginia, in America. From Harare. Zimbabwe. I'm from Zambia. Uh, Zimbabwe. We've heard only good things, good views. Really excited for it, early morning run. Well, we've got to have a lot of energy <laughs> to finish the race. <laughs> and I just hope we don't get chased by any elephants. <laughs> so excited, really looking forward to it. Running along the Zambezi River, the animals, um, such a historic part of the world, the bridge going into Zambia. I can't wait, I'm excited. The runners work to a perfect July day in Vic Falls. I was up very early this morning uh, to actually see the first lot of runners off. Uh, it was nice and cold, crispy, with the sound of the falls going on in the background. Uh, very exciting. Everybody warming up, psyched up and everything. Uh, it was a good start this morning. Three, two, one, off we go! The full marathon got off to an exciting start as 475 runners made their way towards the bridge and out onto the scenic route. And with a large international contingent of competitors running in the full marathon, it was sure to be an exciting race. I mean, the most exciting thing is just walking over the bridge and you get that cool breeze and that mist and a bit of the stuff, the cloud coming through early in the morning, that chill. Uh, I mean, it just pumps your lungs up, it gives you the energy. By the time they had crossed back into Zimbabwe, the front men and lady runners had both formed competitive packs up front. The specially abled race was introduced a few years ago and has had a special place in the day's proceedings. It has become more competitive over the years and both the wheelchair and hand cycle are seen as prestigious titles to take home. Back with the full marathon men's and by the 9 km mark the large pocket of front runners was well ahead of the rest of the pack. Here there is no time to enjoy the scenery or worry about wild animals jumping out the bush. 
The focus is on the road and their competitors, applying tactics to see who would keep the pace and who would fall back. In the first half of the ladies' full marathon, Felista Shitoshi has already made substantial headway and is three minutes ahead of Chikora Chietza. Veteran Tabitha Tsatsa, a previous winner of this race, was also falling behind. Back with the men's and the pack remained unshaken with 20 runners determined not to be left behind. They were well into the second half of the race with no breakaway. Then, finally, with six kilometers to go, there were signs of a fragmented pack. Christopher Gondwe, Ronald Musakac, Kostin Chiaba, Lino Muchena and Blessing Topotsi were looking strong. But the lead kept changing with Mike Focaroni setting a blistering pace. And then finally, at the 39 kilometer turnaround, Kostin Chiaba, seen in the lead here, made a solid push forward opening up a substantial gap and settling into a very comfortable pace as he strode unchallenged towards the finish line. But with only two kilometers to go, the exceptionally fast Zimbabwean Christopher Gondwe began his assault on Kostin Chiaba and blew past him like he was standing still. This was his chance and he made the most of it with an incredible finish as he comfortably won the Econet Victoria Falls Marathon in a fantastic time of 2 hours 25 minutes and 36 seconds. It was incredible to see in a full marathon the first six men all finished within a minute of each other. The ladies full marathon was completely different with Felisto Shitoshi far ahead of Shikoro Chietza and veteran Tabitha Tsatsa. Felista Shitoshi ran to a comfortable victory in a great time of 2 hours, 52 minutes and 31 seconds. Next up, the competitors are preparing for the start of the Via Half Marathon. The Via Half Marathon is a very fast 21.2 kilometers with a few quietly deceiving hills en route. And with the number of international runners, it is sure to be another exciting finish. Within the first two kilometers, there is a fast breakaway group of 10 runners who cross the bridge into Zambia. After turning around at the Zambian border post, they are quickly on their way back into Zimbabwe as they practically sprint across the bridge. The men are closely followed by a similar sized ladies group, all fiercely battling for the title. You know, uh, VIA is an exciting uh, project for us and an exciting product. Uh, it's about uh, uh, uberfication of transport. It makes transport a lot more easier. You can do it on your app and it offers a number of different services from a premium service as you know it, from a shuttle service to a pooled car service. It offers a service for school children, for the school run pickup. It offers a tractor service if you're a farmer and you want to have your agriculture done. So uh, VIA is a very, very diverse service and it just simply does the business. It works. The Stewart Bank Half Marathon Relay has become very popular and was widely supported this year. So the relay is a team of two, uh, over 21 k's. Each runner does 10.5. There's a changeover point where they transition and actually hand over a baton. Uh, and then we shuffle everybody who's left over to the finish line. In the individual men's half marathon, Moses Tarakino and Ibo Chibanda pull away and are up front running comfortably as they head towards the Vic Falls Safari Lodge. In the ladies' half marathon, Olivia Chitate in the red and Rudo Mondewa are keeping a safe distance ahead of Fatio Nyasangu and Constantin Nyasangu. The gap was widening as Olivia Chitate opened up the pace. Rudo Manderwa kept right beside her. Fatia and Constance were slowly falling back, leaving a two-way battle up front.
Ebel Chibanda in the green was holding on to a very slim lead with Moses Tarakinu ready to pounce. And with less than a kilometre to go, pounce he did, finishing just two seconds ahead of Ebel in a nail-biting finish. With five kilometers to go in the ladies' half marathon, Olivia Chitate was well ahead of second place Rudo Manderwa and Fatia and Constance Inyasangu. She cruised through to an easy victory in a great time of 1 hour 19 minutes and 52 seconds. Second place Rudo finished two minutes later. And last but not least, the EcoSure Fun Run was an absolute hit, with over a thousand fun-seeking runners preparing for any eventuality. I will change my routine and I will start chasing the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Two, one, go! The Fun Run is designed to get everyone who's anyone out on the road to enjoy the camaraderie and fantastic scenery. This race definitely puts a smile on every participant's face. I was excellent. We did enjoy with my friend Sunshine. Really, really nice. It was a good race. And good for my quality too. Amazing. I'll do it again. The technology this year has taken the Econet Victoria Falls Marathon to new heights. The race has been amazing in that as Econet we came in with a lot of technology. There were screens at the start point and people loved the countdown. At the end, at the finish line, a lot of people actually had to be watching themselves as they finished. There was also a scoreboard which was electronic, so all the other people, the spectators, could see who's coming in. It's new, it's fresh, and I really believe that the runners were excited about it. So, 2019 with over 3,500 runners and a total of 43 nationalities took part in the Econet Victoria Falls Marathon. And in 2020, we hope to see you there.